There's nothing that people love more than poker routines. That's right. Something about the dealing, something about the uh, the mathematics. That's people really, really sort of aroused when it comes to uh, demonstrations of your ability to control poker hands. So today I'm going to show you guys a, a very uh, a kind of self-working sort of poker routine that makes them know that they shouldn't play cards with you, right? Right. So you uh, you have a deck. In this case, I'm going to use the um. These are uh, fantastic uh, Theory 11 mon Monarch cards here. So uh, you, you take them out and you say, sir, God, God damn it. Uh, sorry, what's your pro pronoun? Uh, sir, okay. So you got to be sure these days, right? <sighs> okay, so uh, you, you take out a deck and you can mix it uh, however it is that you want. Pretty much you can give it all the shuffles in the planet. Um, but uh, the, the point is that you ask the, the spectator if they've ever been to uh, to Las Vegas, if they've ever been to a, cas a casino, and they, they'll say yes or no. You could really uh, ham it up with the uh, presentation here. But you ask the spectator that, uh, imagine that they're sitting right here in a, in a poker table with five positions. So you ask them, which position would they sit at? So for example, would they like to sit in the first position and receive the first card as their hand, or would they like to sit in the third position? Which position would they like to sit in? Let's assume the spectator says, uh, I'd like to sit in the, the third position. You go, that's that's fantastic, sir. So uh, let's say I'm a, I'm a crooked dealer. I'm gonna try my best to try to get you the winning hand. And out, you know what? Let's say that I have my partner sitting right next to you. So you're sitting in the third position and my partner's sitting right there in the fourth position, just to, just to make sure that things go things go right. So uh, we'll, we'll just do it this way. I'll deal the cards out in a round of poker here. So that's the first position. This will be your hand here. And um, that's that's the way the poker, poker deal would look like. So we'll just deal your hands here. Remember the deck is shuffled. Uh, you named whichever position you wanted, right? So you could have been the second uh, position here. You could have been the, uh, the fifth position even if you wanted to. But you chose the third position, sir. Which is uh, just uh, just dandy because it just so happens that um, wow, this is a great hand you have here, sir. A five, a six, a seven, an eight, and a nine of spades. That's a a straight flush. That's pretty much one of the greatest hands you could get. So uh, that would guarantee you a victory. But uh, see, there's a there's a little bit of a problem there. If we were if you happen to uh, have paid me for my services, I was gotta have a an ace in the hole, you know what I mean? I always, I can't, I can't just let you walk away the winner. So I mean, uh, person one really didn't get a, a good hand. As a matter of fact, they could use the jokers or wild, or whatever. Uh, person two here didn't really get that that much of a good hand either, right? Uh, three, sorry, per, person two. Um, person five, let's see, they didn't, they didn't get a, a really good hand. But my my partner sitting right next to you, remember, you could have really picked any any position on a table, but you chose the third position. So my partner happens to be seating right next to you, and he's um, oh no, no, well, yeah, because I, I gave him the uh, I gave him the roar flush. So uh, you can't trust anyone. All right, that's the point of the story. This is a cute little card trick, but it's really a life lesson. All right, motherfucker, you can't trust anyone here. So you thought you could trust me? Well, guess what? You can't trust me. All right, I'm a snake, cunt that you want to give to the uh, spectator. So this uh, this trick is pretty much self-working. It's from an idea that I got from a uh, Phil Malone trick from uh, from Here I Go Again. There's a poker deal that he does, and this is kind of the end bit of that with some stuff added to it. So the setup that you need for this trick is relatively simple. You get a royal flush and whatever, uh, whatever sort of suit you want. You get a straight flush, which is a five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever incremental value in the same suit. And you get those two. And you are set apart from doing a couple things. So first thing you got to do, you got to grab their hand and then your hand. Add three cards. And then you're going to do this until you run out of cards here uh, from these two piles. So what this does is that it puts these cards at a position where if you can, depending on the amount of cards that you control on top of it, it'll let you, um, it'll let you manipulate the hand. It'll make a lot more sense in a little bit. So this is pretty much the setup there. So this right here, you don't really have to think too hard about it, but you have uh, each cards that are going pretty much fifth from the top here. Don't think about it, just do it, all right? So right now, uh, the most common hand, if you ask a spectator, to name what position they'd like to be in the table is number three. So for that reason, I usually like to have two cards on top here of the deck because you, you see what that does? See, the, the math here is kind of genius because by having two cards on top that puts their hand as the third hand, 
and my hand as the fourth hand. So when you go through the deal, it's always going to end up that the third hand gets the straight flush and the fourth hand gets the royal flush. But what if, oh, pick cake, uh, uh, what, what if they want to be the second hand? Then that means that uh, you have the setup right here, right? So usually I keep it in this setup, having two cards above the stack so that if I deal to the third position, if they name the third position, they get this straight flush. However, if they happen to name whatever number they want, that's what I'm gonna double undercut on top of this little pile or double undercut away from this little pile. So let's say, let's say they wanna be the second position, right? Let's say they wanna be the second position in the card table. So what does that mean? That means that I'm gonna have to eliminate one card from the top. So I'm gonna have to do a double undercut. I get a little pinky break above the, uh, sorry, below the top card. I cut that card to the bottom under the guise of uh, just, oh, let me just cut the deck before to be fair. And you see what that does? That puts the spade card there, the second position. And my Royal Flush is going to be in the third position now. So you always name the position after the one they name. So if they are the, uh, if they say, oh, I want to be in the second position, sir, you're in the third, in the third position. If they want to be in the third position, you're in the fourth position. If they're in the fifth position, then uh, in that case, what you want to do is coil up and say, nah, fuck you. Don't be the fifth position, cunt. What the fifth, that's me. That's me. That's dealer. All right. What do you think? You can have the fifth position. You could just go. Go fuck yourself. But usually they don't name the fifth position. Um, so that's uh, that's that pretty much. So you notice that they get the spade card here, which is my royal flush, which is I, what I give to the partner, allegedly. And if I go through the deals here, you see that it's always going to end up in that way. So it depends on the cards that you control on top of your little stack here. So if they want to be fourth, let, let's do the math here. Let's do some Dora here for you guys. If, if they want to be the fourth hand, right? How many cards do I have to control on top of this card? What? Th two? No, you dumb cunt. It's, it's, that's right. Three. Yes. So you have to double undercut three cards or you have to put three cards on top of your little setup here. So that when you happen to do a little false cut and deal the cards, see, see what the position they come up at, they, they come up in the fourth position. So you could go through the dealing here and it's pretty much a self-working uh, a self-working deal that allows you to deal not only a straight flush to them but a royal flush to you with relatively no effort all you got to do is control the amount of cards after the setup that correlate to the position they want to be at and you have a self-working poker deal where they apparently picked whatever position they wanted to be at and you happen to deal a fantastic hand to them and a hand that beats the shit out of their hand to yourself so you can play around with whatever presentational options you want but that's uh that's uh, that's a good trick you you practice it there's not really much to practice apart from uh doing a, a double undercut uh a, a double undercut that's that's all you're practicing if you need a double undercut a card from the bottom or if you need a double undercut a card from the top to the bottom there's not really much practice here that's what i'm saying all right so enjoy that it's a, it's a hard hitting trick uh, um um God damn it. Uh, the uh, stuff. What's the stuff? It's the Twitter. The pay, uh, um, subscribe. Uh, shit. Well, there you go. Um, I'm going to go figure out different methods to not have to shower my sandwich maker. See you again when I 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 see you again.